Have you ever copied an animated effect onto a clip but you can't find the keyframes anywhere? Instead of dragging that clip onto another video track to extend it, to then find those keyframes and reposition them, try this. Go to the hamburger menu next to effect controls and then unselect pin to clip. Now you can really easily find the keyframes and reposition them. And just like this, we're gonna go over six more editing tips that you will actually use in every single edit from now on, promise. Ever ran into the issue where you want to put one clip next to the other clip without overriding it? Like you want the end of one clip to just snap onto the beginning of the other clip, but for some reason, like mid-edit, it's not working anymore? This happens to me more than I'd like to admit, and that is because I accidentally pressed the button S. S is a shortcut for this little magnet right here. It's called snap in timeline. So by pressing S again, or just clicking on the magnet, now it will not override and it will actually snap together. Now, if you hate everything about this shortcut, like I do, you can just delete it. Just go to Premiere Pro in the top menu, then click on keyboard shortcuts and delete the S. Be gone, never again. Here's another tip that I really wish I knew before I got started. If you ever try to find a clip that's already on the timeline, but for the life of you, you cannot find it in any of the bins what you want to do is right click on that clip and then click on review in project Ta -da! now this is also a great option if you want to check the metadata of a video another way to do this is by right clicking and then clicking on properties and this will open up a property window with all of the metadata that you need if you find yourself needing this more than a couple of times assign a shortcut to it. You now know where to find it. We all use effects in our videos. Some of my personal favorites that I use in every single edit is the crop effect, the warp stabilizer effect, and the Gaussian blur effect. But how annoying is it when you're editing and you just typed in warp to get the warp stabilizer, then you type in crop because you need a crop, and then you need the warp stabilizer again to have to type that in again. That's just not efficient and it's just really, really annoying. And this is why I have created a favorites folder. Right click on the effects panel, click on new custom bin, call it favorites, faves, whatever you want, and then just start dropping your favorite effects in there. Now, when you start an edit, you can just open that folder and just drag and drop these effects that you use in every single edit multiple times instead of having to look for them every single time. And honestly, I should have done that sooner. I feel like this video is more of a confessional than anything, but something that happens to me a lot is that I semi-accidentally cut a clip. And when I say cut a clip, I don't mean delete a clip, but like literally just cut it with no intention of doing anything with that cut. So to get rid of that cut, you can click on the cut and then hit delete or pay attention. As you can see, this clip right here has been cut quite a few times. It's indicated by these arrows. Very fancy, it's a recent discovery of mine. Now, if I select all of this and then I hit Ctrl J or Command J, all of these cuts have disappeared. It's magic, try it. Did it not work? Okay, I'll show you my settings. First, to get those fancy arrows that are indicating the cuts or through edits as they're called, we're gonna go to the top menu, click on sequence and then enable show through edits. Then we'll have to go back to our keyboard shortcuts and program the following shortcuts. Let's search for join through edits. Then click on the J, then drag the join through edits to the control or the command and voila, now you're a magician too. I hate to say it, but you, my friend, are looking at autosave wrong. Sort of. Let's say that there's this hypothetical, not real person. We're not talking about me, okay? They have been editing for a while and they discovered this massive mistake. Definitely not me. I don't make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. They want to control Z it, but it doesn't work for two reasons. One, it doesn't just go back all the way to where you made that edit, or you've made all of these edits and you don't want to undo all of these edits because then you lose all of your work. This is exactly why autosave has saved my butt hypothetical person's butt before. It was me. I, I, I make mistakes. So what I do with the autosave project is I open it alongside the project that I'm working in. Then I try to find the version before I made that specific mistake. And I drag that onto my quote unquote working timeline that I'm still working on to fix the mistake. And voila, I have one more confession to make. And that is that this video is actually not gonna help you make better videos. It will help you edit better, but it will not help you make a better video because in order to make better videos, you need to understand how to cut videos and why you make a certain cut and that is why we talk about it in this video right here go give it a watch and also your girl is in desperate need of external validation again so it would be highly appreciated if you would like comment subscribe all the youtube things and then i hope to see you in this video right here thank you